So I had a request a long time ago uh, to do my top 10 fragrances uh, by the House of Alexandria Fragrances. Um, it was hard. Uh, <laughs> as most of you know, Alexandria is my favorite plant house um, as far as quality goes. Uh, and for that reason, I like a lot of their fragrances. Um, you know, there are a lot of other good corn houses. Uh, don't get me wrong, especially um, some that are cheaper than Alexandria. But all things considered, and the quality of the juice, um, my personal favorite is Alexandria fragrances. But anyway, this is gonna be a top ten on those. It is gonna be quick because there are a lot. Um, so this isn't gonna be a full depth, like in-depth analysis of any of them or the no breakdown or anything like that. And if anybody has, um, you know, questions about certain ones or does want a review video on certain ones that I don't already have a review on, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just let me know. So anyway, these aren't in any particular order. Um, that would be very hard for me to do. <laughs> so I'll just dive into it. Um, start here. I, um, you know, maybe I'll start. Right here. So first one is Peace of Mind by Alexandria Fragrances, obviously. So this is their interpretation of Bond Number no. 9's Scent of Peace for Him. It smells very identical to the original. Um, I have tested various other clones of this house, including Dappers, including uh, Genres, um, and um, Montage. This is my favorite. Um, why? Well, it's kind of hard. One, I would say, again, the quality is higher than this. I liked Genres was too light. Longevity and performance were not good um, compared to this and compared to the Genres. Genres was nuclear. <laughs> the lasting power on that was crazy. Projection was awesome. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, genre can set it apart. This does not project and does not perform as well as genres. I will say that. Their Peaceful Night, I believe it's their name for their clone, is much stronger. Um, but because of that, it can become overpowering. Um, it's very in your face. It's, uh, I don't want to say harsh, but it can be can be a lot. I usually only wear two sprays of that. This, though, peace of mind, to me, is much fresher. It's crisper. It's not as harsh. And that's why I like this uh, better. It still performs and projects very well. Um, I get a minimum, say, six hours out of this. Uh, you know, so it's not like a powerhouse um, like Peaceful Night, but certainly no slouch. And it smells great. It's just much brighter, um, fresher. It, it, to me, again, it's the best interpretation. It lasts longer than the original. It's a lot cheaper than the original. Now, um, again, this is all personal preference. If you like something that's going to perform like crazy, project like crazy, John's Peaceful Night, I think, is unmatched as far as the clone goes of how this clone version of this goes. Um, it is my second favorite. It was my first favorite before trying Alexander's. Take that for what you will. Uh, next one on this list is Dark Knight. This, no surprise, is also my favorite interpretation of Killian's Black Phantom. This is their clone. I have tried Black Widow by Duo. I have tried Montages, Phantom Noir, I believe it's called. I have tried um, this, obviously. I believe there was one more house I can't think of right now. Anyway, this, oh, genres, uh, Noble Soul. This is my favorite. It smells closest to the original, in my opinion. It performs very well, projects well, as, you know, also. Uh, Noble Soul by Genre is a good interpretation. It just smells, to me, almost too salty, more caramely. It's not as well blended, and it doesn't smell as close to the original. This is more boozy, 
can get more of the chocolate notes in it. This is amazing. Anybody who has smelled Black Phantom or Dark Knight, you get this Oregon scent. You get this amazing, seductive, really dark, sweet uh, chocolate or chocolate caramel foods. It just works so well together. And, and it's coffee in it. And it just really works. It works well. And it's sexy. Now, it, it is a mass appealing scent. That said, it is not as mass appealing as, say, La Nuit or something like that. Um, there are going to be some people who aren't a huge fan of this, but I would say the majority of people are going to enjoy this. It, to me, is a more modern than masculine, and it works very well. Would not wear it if I were a female, and that's just me. Um, next on this list, we will go with... Classic. This is your own uh, Alexandria's interpretation of that. I love this. I really do. It smells great. Oh. This is a very classy masculine scent. This is great for the office. This is great for, great for any sort of black tie event, uh, any professional setting. You can wear this every day. It's not cloying. It's not overwhelming. It's not something that, you know, is going to be seasonal or anything like that. You could wear this every day. Uh, it's going to do really well in the fall and the winter, but it, it'd be fine in the summer as well. It's not overpowering. Um, I do very much enjoy this. I think it's very close to the original. It performs very well. projects very well. Um, I have not tried a whole lot of other clones of this other than Dappers, uh, so I can't comment on that. I will say this is much better than Dappers um, as far as the actual scent profile goes performance on dappers were great as well. Um, next up, Velvet Iris. This is Alexander Fragrance's interpretation of uh, the Oral of Intense. Those of you who have tried this or know this, you had that famous Iris, the Dior, the Dior line does, the Lane does, but very lipsticky vibe, opening Iris. Um, you also get that chocolate and vanilla. Oh, and it is good. Now this you don't want to wear in the summer. You don't want to wear this in the heat. Again, this is great black tie events. You could wear this in the office. Um, just don't go too crazy on the sprayer. Uh, it's very good for any formal event. This is not as versatile as the Eau Classique. It is more sweet, a little more cloying. So, um, you know, take it what you will. Again, I have tried Dapper's version of uh, Dior Homme Intense. I have tried Dua's version uh, as well. This is my favorite, Duas is next, and then Dappers. Uh, scent profile, uh, performance projection, uh, it's good on all three, but scent-wise, being as close to the original, this. Next up, this stay in line, I guess, sort of the same, similar vibe, uh, Ombre Noir 2.0, so this is Alexandria Fragrance's interpretation of YSL Love Nuit, uh, the original formulation. So this has been revived by Alexandria. Their original Ombre Noir was not as close. This is much closer. Oh, it smells good. Much closer. Um, so people who are familiar with this, this is one of the best date night fragrances. It's very sweet, very seductive, somehow still masculine. Um, it, it is a good date night fragrance. Problem with this is it is kind of limited to those settings, uh, date night or night out. I don't know that some people, I guess, could wear this in the office. I wouldn't. Um, it is limited in that regard. Now I've tried several clones of this. I've tried Dappers. I've tried uh, Duas, not Rendezvous. Um, I've tried uh, House of Squirts. This is the best by far. Midnight Rain of Us is close, but this is closer to the original. The actual sun profile is a lot closer to me than this. It lasts also a lot better. Some people say they get great performance out of Midnight Rain of Us. I did not. I did out of this. This I can get six, seven hours easy, which is crazy for this, especially if you any, know anything about the formulation. The new versions of Love It are much weaker. You're lucky to get a couple hours out of it. This will give you great performance, and it smells very identical to the original. It's also cheap. 
This is uh, 50, maybe something around that, 55 or something. And you can use Alexandria 25 or Alexandria 15 to get a discount on it. It's not bad at all. Uh, next up is, well, we'll do this design. This is their interpretation of Elysium. So this, I have smelled Alexandria's, I have smelled Duo's, I have smelled Genre's, uh, Dapper's. This is my favorite, um, but Genre's is close. So genres, I don't know. Genres is very close. I might even say they're they're in line with each other. Genres just isn't as close to the original. So if I'm talking about as close an interpretation of the original, Zion is better. But what genres does, Utopia has more of a the better but is more prominent. I kind of like that. Uh, I don't know that I like it more. I don't know that I like it less than Zion. They both perform very well for compared to the original. Uh, they get about five hours, five six hours out of. Uh, Zion, which is better than the original for sure. Um, smells great, smells very bright, crisp, clean, the better bird. It's, it's a good scent, would be the scent. You, people who smell further leaves would know what I'm talking about. Very masculine, very inoffensive. You can wear it in any setting. Awesome. Wear it in high heat, perfect. Performance is usually the only issue with Raja Elysium, but again, Zion lasts much longer. Uh, some people even get eight hours on their skin. Um, Duo's is good as well. Uh, now, they do have their big bottle as a combination of both Elysium, Blue Bottle, and the other one. That, to me, I do not like. It smells very sterile, very medicinal. It's gross, uh, in my opinion. I wanted to sell it as their Supernova Cologne. The normal Supernova does smell pretty close to this, especially for Zion. Uh, I just think it's better, in my opinion. Genres, though, again, it, it lasts really well. I'd say you get about five hours of that. It's really cheap, much cheaper. Genre across the board is very affordable. Problem is you can only order it when windows are open, but I would say if you are not sure if you'd like Elysium or you know you never tried it before and you're just wanting a clone of it, maybe pick up genres and just during the window because it is so cheap and affordable and it is very, very close to Zion. Um, you know, it's a great alternative. Uh, I love Zion. I got Zion because I love it. It's one of my favorite fragrances, uh, Elysium is. So I don't mind spending the extra money, nor do I mind supporting Alexander, who I'm a big fan of the house. Um, next up is, well, we'll do Oral Equestrian. Um, I love this. This is one of my favorite interpretations of Leighton. Um, I got three bottles of this, 30 ounces, which is close. Three right now. Two of the new ones and one of the old school uh, bottles. You can call it wrong. Um, they're all 30 mils. I am a big fan of this. This is their interpretation of Parfum from Molly Layton. I think it was one of the best interpretations of Layton. Uh, it hits the mental Layton of the originals, the old original formula. So this has, the old version of Layton had a much more prominent mental Layton opening. Uh, this hits that on the head. You'll have that Vicks vapor, vapor rub, what a lot of people call it, opening to that menthol uh, before it dries down into the Layton. It's that amazing woody vanilla smell that just, Oh, I love it. <laughs> but um, this is my favorite. Again, I think it's very close. Uh, probably the closest, but I love how it kind of is closer to the original. So some of the newer ones, like Montage has a version, which I also have. I do like a lot. I do like Montages. It doesn't have that methylated opening as much. It's more closer to the newer formulations of Leighton. Still very good. Still very good. Uh, Duas, World Cherry Guitar. I have five bottles of that. So... I'm not saying, you know, the other point out was a bad thing or not. Uh, Royal Cherry Guitar is a monster. You can wear two sprays of that. You, it's on you all day. It's the end of the guitar. But uh, it's really good, too. Again, it doesn't have the same methylated opening. That's the main difference of this. It's much more prominent. If you don't care about that, you don't like that, Royal Question is probably not uh, the number one option for you. Uh, you know, I've, I've tried all of the Leighton's. I've tried the Refuge. I've tried which is genres. I've tried Montage. I've tried Dappers. I've tried I'll say Alexandria. I've tried Duos. I've tried House of Squirrels. I've tried uh, New Bottles. By the way, 
plug real quick plug real quick uh those of you who do not checked out new bottles go ahead and do it it's a new clone house uh he also does very unique interpretation so he will let you create your own preferences you could add certain notes and say you really like latent but you want it to be more smoky or whatever the case may be you could add smoke you could add vanilla more vanilla you get whatever it is he can custom tailor the fragrances for you now his standalone clone fragrances are great I will say that I tested a sample set out. I loved every one of them. Go support him. He's a great guy. It's very cheap. I think all of the concentrations are 50% uh, oil, and they they perform. Um, the scents are great. He does have a limited number right now, but he's just starting out. I highly recommend supporting him. Again, it's New Bottles. Look him up on Facebook. Uh, you can also take a bottle of something that you already have. So you got to have a bottle of uh, Versace Dillon Blue. You know, huge fan of it. And you're like, well, maybe I want to add pineapple or something like that. He can do that through that. You can kind of create your own fragrance that way as well. It gets to do that. So I won't talk about that too much right now. It just made me think of that. It is really cool. His version is really good. If I were to rank uh, the houses, not including New Ball, please, by the way, I'll include New Ball. Um, I don't know. They're so hard. I enjoy them all. That's why I have them all. Uh, my least favorites would be uh, Dapper, Refuge, House of Stars. Favorites would be um, Alexandria Duros um, of the big houses. New bottles would come right under those two. Um, it might honestly be in line with those. I just haven't had an opportunity to wear it as much as the other two. Um, but it is good. It is good. Don't get me wrong. Next, Arabian Horse. This is, oh, this is Alexandria's version of once again, no surprise, this is my favorite clone of Harry. I've tried Duos. Day, sorry. I have tried Dappers. I have tried... Um, who else have I tried? House of Sparks. So, sadly, Dappers is the furthest from... Uh, I don't know about that, actually. To me, Duos does not smell like the original. It smells more soft, toned down, uh, cleaner, not as in your face. Alexandria's, it's it on the nail, in my opinion. I have the original one, obviously, and that is the closest. Uh, Dapper's does come close. It's not blended as well, and it's got this weird grape bubblegum opening. Once it smells like grape bubblegum, literally, grape tobacco. Once that opening dries down, though, it is very close and it is a monster. It performs crazy. It'll last all day. No joke. Um, King of Judea Tar Duos lasts a while, too. It lasts really long. It's in the car, but it just it doesn't smell to me like the original. It's just one of the clones they've made that I just have not been impressed with. And I was really looking forward to getting it. It smells good. It just does not smell like the original one. This performs like crazy. Uh, you get great performance on this, and it smells really good. Great alternative to... Um, Hair. It really is. I love this. Um, House of Squirts is actually really good too. It just doesn't perform well. The scent profile is pretty close though. It's not as good as Alexandria. I'd say it's in line with Dapper's. It doesn't have that great opening though, which is good. And it's pretty affordable, but they've gone up in pricing. They used to be 25 and I think they're 30 now or something. Or they used to be 20 and I don't know. They've gone up. Um, not that it's bad, but I would pick up Refuge by Yonara. If, uh, or not Refuge. Um, I would honestly probably pick up Dappers before I would pick up that. Um, so next on the list is Black Panther. This has been super hyped up. This is Tigar. Uh, God, it smells so good. Uh, you get this wonderful grapefruit opening. Very masculine, woozy scent. Uh, it just, it is very versatile. Very signature scent worthy. Um, very inoffensive, but it is powerful. So you don't want to spray too much of it. Performs very well. I get about eight hours on this. It lasts me a full day of work. Um, I've gotten a ton of compliments on it. It's very mass appealing. Um, again, you're very versatile. You can wear this really any, any setting all year round. It's great. This has become quickly one of my favorite fragrances. Actually, this is one of the uh, newer releases that I've actually bought a backup bottle of. So much, um, man, it is. I mean, you got like grapefruit, 
So the opening and the dry mount, grapefruit is there. It's mainly grapefruit woods, kind of this Ibroxan vibe, but it, it is really good, very, very uh, inoffensive, fragrant, very masculine appeal to that. Uh, if you like Zion's, uh, if you like Scented Peaks, um, if you like Aventus style, you'll like Black Panther. Next up, and last, Executive Order. So this has also been super hyped. This is a combination of Office for Men by Jeremy or Fragrance One, which is Cole Fullerton, Alexandria's interpretation of the Fullerton, mixed with Rosia Elysium Blue Bottle Zion. So this is a combination of Zion and Borbrook. This, to me, is fantastic. So to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of Office for Men. It's nothing to do with Jeremy. I don't care. I think Jeremy's very successful. I hate on him all you want, but he is what he is. You know, you can't can't argue with that. Um, I wish I had as much money as he does. Um, that being said, I find board or not board, but uh, office for men to be kind of bland, boring. Citrus and abroxin is all I get out of it uh, when I spray it. And it's, to me, it's just, it, that's it. It's boring. It's overhyped. And it's it's just not for me. I think it's price. Boardroom, I like. And the reason I like it is because it, surprisingly to me, does not smell exactly like office for men but it's a good thing to me but it's still along that same line so i wasn't a huge fan of both room either i bought a bottle from alexandria and i'm selling it uh when this came out though i am a huge fan of zion i was like wait that sounds like it could work and it does zion is exactly what this was missing it has become a much more just mass appealing and enjoyable fragrance no longer you just have bland and broxin and citrus but the vetiver in the woods and just Everything you get along with Zion, uh, along with the citruses, the additional citruses, just really makes this a much more complex and well-rounded fragrance. Again, this is in line with Black Panther. You can wear this in any setting, uh, all year round. Very versatile fragrance. Very, I mean, the office for them was designed to get compliments. Zion is known to get compliments. This is a compliment monster. Performance is not as good as Black Panther. It is good though. I get about six hours on this. It comes to skin scent, um, which is surprising because Boardroom, you know, performed much better. Boardroom was one of Alexandria's kind of monster powerhouse on performance-wise fragrances. That being said, I enjoy this much better. This is great. Alexandria might not have many hybrids, but the ones they do, I'll tell you what, they hit the nail in the head. They have game time which is their version of Aventus mixed with um, uh, Bob Rock Rouge 540. They have Tuscan Leather, or Tuscan King, which is uh, Tuscan Leather mixed with Aventus. And they have um, Executive Order, which is one of their, uh, I'm sure I'm missing a few, I can't think of right now, but every hybrid I've tried from them has been very well done. So, they don't release as much as we. We all know that uh, across the board. But I think there's something to be said for that. I cover this in my my uh, Clark House comparison. I do love the Infinity Line, but when you're pumping out that amount of fragrances, and you have 15, 20 releases every weekend, that might be an exaggeration. But regardless, uh, five to ten or whatever they pump out every weekend, the quality's not there. It is a small business. They are mixing oils like most of these places are, including Alexandria. Um, and they are making a ton of money and they're extremely successful. Uh, so I'm not hating on them. I do support them. I do enjoy them. I have a bunch of duos myself. But I think that is why I like Alexandria better. They do feel more well thought out, well tested, well better blended. And just like more time and effort was put behind each clone uh, that comes through the their house. That's my opinion. So again, I'm not hating on Duo. I do love Duo. Uh, they got a great community, great uh, owners as well. So this is not a knock on them. I just prefer Alexandria for what my belief is better quality uh, fragrances. But like I said before, Duo is right on Duo. So for them being able to pump out the crazy amount of stuff they do and still be that high up on my list, that's optimal, and they're killing it. So 
uh, that's it for this. A lot more I would have covered. Uh, fortunately, this is already almost half an hour long.